It is your main man, Big Bear here with Calvin. We've gone back to our lovely hub, our roots, our home, and we're doing some outside cooking with a barbecue. I'm gonna do a nice little tikka finger marrow. I've never cooked with marrow before, but that was new to me, and some smoky baba ganoush. Right, we're on our lovely hub. We're outside the Bull Beauty as well. We'll get him in the backdrop. He's been quiet lately. We're gonna do some lovely marrow. Shout out to Nessa, who sorted us out this lovely marrow. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> that's, just, that's your job, Calvin. Um, right, to start, we're gonna do baba ganoush. If you're not sure what baba ganoush is, I've not done. One second. Technical fault. Technical fault. No edits here. Where you were. <laughs> right, baba ganoush. It's, I don't, it's a weird one, baba ganoush. It's a smoky aubergine, okay? So you grill them on there for a while to a nice and fleshy inside. They, they loosen up and get a nice roasted smoky flavour. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cut mine in half. Grill them on there with some paprika and some oil. And then we're going to go onto our marrows, cut our marrow with the fingers. We're going to make them into a nice tea cup. And we're going to grill them on there as well. So a nice little veggie option. Right, to start off with, you in straight away. Take your stickers off. Always take your stickers off. You can eat them. What, the stickers? Yeah, they're not poisonous. Are you sure? No, I, I swear down. Oh, okay. I saw something a few weeks ago saying that with apples as well, the sticker, they advise against not eating them, but if okay. you did eat it, nothing would happen to you. I didn't honestly know that. Yeah, there you go. Master Chef, I am. <laughs> of all people know about food, can we about there stickers? There you go. <laughs> right, I'm taking mine off anyway. Straight down the middle. There, there, there. Same in this one. Sticker. Straight into the food. Alright, and all we're going to do now is just do one, two, and all of them. You're just going to score them so that flesh melts a bit easier. You can normally leave these whole and just smoke them, but I'm just going to go oil, a little bit of oil, a little bit of paprika. Shall I throw you under a bus again? Oh, here we go, go on then. What country are these from? What, aubergines? Yeah. Are they? Yeah, these are grown in England. Oh, yeah. all right. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes they're not. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd give you an easy yeah, one. Obviously, I knew. It says on the only package where it's grown. I think a lot of people get confused when they see it. Like, strawberries in January? They're not from England. There's no way you get strawberries in January from England. July, June, July is our perfect season for January. All right, paprika oil. Just going to brush that on. Just going to help with that smoky flavour when it gets cooking. Just a little bit all over them. We're going to baste as well while we're cooking. And we're going to go straight in, flesh side down first. Nice little sizzle. This is obviously Elliot's way of doing it. Yeah, if there's any ways that so you've got. Ways. Please, anyone at home, because it's, I mean, it's probably my third time making it. I used to make it in an old restaurant, but everyone does it differently. Like we say, we're cooking. We want to do it your way, our way. It's the best way for you. you can never stop learning. Never, I learn every day. Yeah. I mean, I, sometimes I may look professional, but half the time I'm not. But, <laughs> These, this is my way of doing it. Any other way, let me know. I'm gonna grill these now for about half hour, then we're gonna pop back, and we're gonna turn our lovely marrow into some tikka fingers, okay? Well, our lovely aubergines are not too far off, okay? So I'm gonna move these over to the side, and they're gonna start on our marrow fingers. Marrow fingers. This is a completely new one to me. I just thought marrow fingers. There's a few tikka. he cut up earlier. And we've got some tikka paste in here. And all I've done is just cut it lengthways. Cut it straight down the middle. Straight again. And all I did was cut again there. But I'm gonna scoop out the middles here. Let's just cut that bit of flesh off. I'm just gonna go for skinnier ones this time. And go free. Cut the flesh off in the middle. Only do once that bit. And then one, two, three. It's very peaceful out there. It is very quiet, isn't it? It's very nice. Right, nothing too fancy. Tea cut on here. I'm gonna get all dirty while I do this. Get that tea cut paste in there. Straight onto my grill. Straight on my leg. Oh, sorry, sir. If you just leave a message with HR, I'll get back to you. <laughs> Don't ever respond to me. Tea cut again all over. I'm going for five or six little fingers. Just on here. I think it's a different way to cook with this. I've never done it. Um, like I said, I've never used marrow before. A lot of people have put me in curries I've seen online, but it would be a little bit different. Marrow fingers. Yeah, I just thought it's different. Good, good little um, start. Because like how you have the baba ganoush, it's like a sharing thing. You're gonna do it with hummus. We're gonna make our own baba ganoush out of this, flatbreads, crudités, whatever you wanna do to dip. It's that sharing sort of style. But, 
see the oil coming up through. That lovely smoky creek is working with a little homemade barbecue. Just in case you're not sure, I have got a cooking tray with a bag of coal in there. That's all I've done. And took a tray out the oven and put it on top. And that is a makeshift barbecue. You can do the same way outside. So we're going to go disposable barbecues. So you ever use them, Calvin? They just burn all the food because they're too close to the coal. This is my Years ago. Years ago. All right, we'll leave these for five, 10 minutes and we'll come back. All right, our lovely baba ganoush aubergines. Our tikka fingers are nearly there. What you're looking for when you're cooking this, this is what I've learned, it needs to be able to pull. So you're going to put your spoon in. That's what you want. You want that flesh to curl out and that's when you know you're ready to go. So just for my insides, I'm just going to get some garlic. Slice some garlic up. Turn it the other way. This is just going to be the base with my lemons. Garlic in, lemon. Catch any pips. Oh, there's one pip there. It smells like sweet potato. Sweet potato? Mmm. Hold my tops, put it in my flesh. So don't worry about the skin too much. Let the flake off. This is hot. Be very careful when you do this because it is very hot. I'm not gonna, don't throw your skins away. Keep, keep. What happened? <laughs> nothing, nothing mate, just my own skin out. Let's keep that lovely flesh out. That's what we want, all this char, because it's gonna create our smoky flavour that's been over this barbecue. Nice. nearly there. Got some marks on there that we want. Aubergine, aubergine, what do you call it? Aubergine eggplant. Aubergine? Yeah, it's always eggplant. Eggplant's the American thing, I'm sure. Right, we have got all our flesh out of our lovely aubergines, okay? I've given it a little mix. Our garlic's in there. Our lemon juice we started with is in there. I'm going to take just a little dribble of our tahini paste. Give it that creamy... Tahini? Tahini, that creamy sesame texture. Mix that without wrapping it everywhere. I'm just going to use my... Marrow tikus is my dipping. I'm going to push this off to the side. There's our baba ganoush there. My little lemon wedge on top. Just got my tikka fingers scattered about. Nice colours, nice greens. That nice tikka paste is going to complement our baba ganoush. And all you're going to do is take your lemon up, squeeze it. That is a very that strange dip, dish. I think people should let us know. Uh, for sure. Your way of doing it, we just tried marrow because we had it from lovely Nessa. Um, you don't want to use it with pita breads or different ways of doing baba ganoush. Please show me yourself because I do not know. It's the third time cooking it, usually in a food processor, so it's nice and smooth or chunky and rustic. I've done it. So anyone at home, let me know your way of doing it. What any of the girls you'd like to do with this dish?